Today is a day that we will celebrate, a historic day. Today is the day, November 7, 2020, that the first woman vice president was elected. And it's also the day that the first black woman vice president, woman of color, was elected in the United States. So we have so much to be excited about. And this is a moment that I wanted to capture because girls and women who are gonna come after us will never ever know a time when it wasn't possible for a woman to ascend to the highest heights of power in the United States as a vice president. You know, their future is gonna be so bright and it's so exciting to think about. And my heart is just so full of love and joy and excitement for them. And I want them to know years from now that we fought for hard for this day, for them. And the ancestors before us fought hard for this day for us. And so, you know, we are just so elated, so, so elated that today this has happened with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And I'm wearing my pink and green today as a proud member of Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority, the first and the finest the same sorority as the Vice President Kamala Harris. And I'm also wearing my pink and green today as a proud member of the Divine Nine, African-Americans, fraternities and sororities that are the leaders in the African-American community who fought also just as hard for this day. And we're proud together. One of the other things that I wanted to mention is that I'm wearing my blue today, a little bit of blue because the Democrats won today and I'm a proud Democrat. We fought hard for this race, not just because it was another race, but because it was about democracy. There are a lot of people that do not want to see the United States of America stay a democracy. And it's sad that we're at this point, but we fought and we pushed back because we are going to fight to keep this a democracy, to keep our, our freedoms in, intact, the freedom of the press, the freedom of speech, the freedom to assemble, the freedom of religion, due process, so many things that we take for granted sometimes in the United States that other countries do not enjoy. But people come here from all over because they want those freedoms and they want a better life. And we fought to protect that. Um, one of the, I'm just so happy right now. So, so happy for so many reasons. I think this is a moment that we should all stop and savor. And then we should also remember that we're going to continue to have to fight because freedom is not free. Our military knows that. We know it. And democracy does not make itself. Everybody has to be invested. Everybody has to step forward and demand a seat at the table. And we're going to keep doing that. We're going to keep working. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep pressing forward and keep working to make this country a more perfect union. We don't all have to agree on everything. But, but we do want to agree that our country comes first. Our country comes first, not our parties, not our opinions about things, and certainly not our racism. Our country comes first. So today, for those daughters and granddaughters to come, for those young women who wonder whether or not they have a voice, I want to encourage you that you do have a voice and you can make it heard. And this is something that I have a real passion about. So if I can help you do that, you just give me a shout. Let me know what I can do and I'll be there.